Samsung Galaxy Tab 3 expected second quarter 2013. The Samsung Galaxy Tab 3 is an upgraded 7-inch tablet which replaces last year's clumsily named Galaxy Tab 2 7.0 with something a little faster and much sleeker looking. Confusingly, the Galaxy Tab 3 is actually the fourth 7-incher from Samsung, following on from the original 2010 Galaxy Tab, and the Galaxy Tab 7.0 Plus from 2011, as well as the Galaxy Tab 2. What's surprising is just how little has changed on paper. The Galaxy Tab 3 display is still the same 600x1024 pixel resolution panel that it's always been. The camera on the back remains a 3 megapixel unit, the same as ever, with a 1.3 megapixel one on the front, the same as the original Galaxy Tab. The battery is the same, 4000 mAh battery as ever, and the dual-core 1.2 GHz CPU with 1 GB of RAM is essentially the same as the Tab 7 Plus. Of course, there are lots of little changes which make a difference, not least that the Wi-Fi only version of the Galaxy Tab 3 weighs just 302 grams, which is 12% lighter than its predecessor, and at 188 by 111 by 9.9 mm, it has a 12% smaller footprint too. Most of the decrease in size is due to the smaller bezels around the screen, but Samsung have arranged the welcome return of some physical buttons on the bottom despite this. The Galaxy Tab 3 runs Android 4.1 out of the box. It comes with either 8GB or 16GB of internal flash storage plus a microSD slot. It features full HD video capture and comes with all the usual Samsung enhancements. GPS and GLONASS support are included, as well as Bluetooth 3.0 and USB 2.0 connectivity. There are two versions available, a Wi-Fi only one from May onwards and one that also supports 3G data and HSPA+, which should be available from June. No guidance was given on price, but the previous version of the Galaxy Tab can be had for less than €200 Euro or £150, and we would expect the new tablet to be roughly the same.